Yeah. 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 We, yes, sir. We are back again, man. What's up, guys? It is your favorite motherfucking podcast. This is Toxic and Fertile Podcast. What's your boy right here? Scooter Boo Maxwell for the 901 Memphis, Tennessee. You already know what it is. Orange Brown represented East Memphis Vet this bitch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy, Mr. Simple Man. We back. It's Toxic and Fertile Podcast. Y'all already know. So look, 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 look. We just gonna hop so straight into it. Y'all Sasha can, Boog ain't we here, are, so we the toxic missing out boys. Fertile, remember the toxic boys. The toxic shit is real today. Oh, we are in you know, oh, when we come on, When we come on the screen, you know what I'm saying? We be just talking about different different little things. And, and, this, and this topic came up mm-hmm. pretty mm-hmm. much. Slut thing her out. You know? Yes. Um, yeah, yes. so pretty much we're going to start the yes. show off just like that. So we're going to talk about what it means or stories maybe maybe of uh, what it means for us to slut a woman out. Because oh, it yeah. can be subjective. You yes. know what I mean? No, no, definitely. So, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So it can be subjective. So like I was telling my boy, man, you know, chicks are hurt these days. Hey. They are turd these days, my boy. Hey, so aggressive uh, with it too, and I like. Man, it. I'm talking about, and don't mind being taking the initiative to ask. You yes, know what I mean? To like, ask. Do this. Like I, want I need you, to, you do to do this. Yes, bro. So I've been asked to, like, bro, I couldn't believe these certain things. If I would, but I've been asked to spit on a person. Mm-hmm, I've been asked mm-hmm, to spit mm-hmm. in their mouth. Mm-hmm, I've been mm-hmm. asked mm-hmm. to um, tea bag. Uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. And if you, and for those of you who do not know what tea bagging is, is when you dip your balls in a woman's mouth. You know what I mean? So clearly, you have to be over her to be able to do that. So yeah, you just yeah, dip, it's the yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, I've been asked to um, uh, choke. That's like simple shit these days. Uh, we talk about that all the time. Uh, but I've also been at uh, been like like make them gag like mm-hmm. you know what I mean like mm-hmm. don't, like fuck my mouth like mm-hmm. yes ma'am like, oh, ma'am yes ma'am oh, I, yeah I'm gonna you know do what exactly mean? what you said like, yeah <laughs> right you know what I mean so like I've been asked I've been uh uh fingers down the throat mm-hmm. fingers mm-hmm. in the mouth fingers mm-hmm. you know what I mean so uh, uh of course thumb and ass you know what I mean um. What else can I think of? I don't know. You take it from there, bro. I'm kind of thinking no, of some other shit. Definitely, definitely. So when, when, <laughs> when the definition of, of, of slutter out is basically introducing her to some sexual activities that she probably never have done or she only done like once or twice, right? And you just bring, this is when, fellas. And they gotta got to be nasty. That's there the, you go. Slut, yeah, slut, yeah, nasty, yeah. nasty, nasty, slut. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes, all the way. Yeah. So like, now, you got to reach <laughs> in the bag now. This ain't the normal just sex shit. This is shit that you do a fantasy type shit. You wilding now. <laughs> and this is some wild shit. Like, like, for some simple shit, like when London was saying thumb in the ass and shit like that, she might be never even experienced that before. You might be the first time and you take the thumb and whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> and then that motherfucker oh, slightly oh, exactly. you up, oh. There you go. Why you hitting it from the back or letting her sit on your face, like hold her up. So look, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. I'm a cute dog, right? I've been the nasty <laughs> cute dog before. I'm gonna make a man now, right? I'm, 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 I'm reformed, right? Yes, but sir. I definitely been the nigga to stand up and hold the chick up like this. Got gotcha. you. I'm Quit, talking about quit, turn, quit in person. Oh, you feel me? One hundred percent. That type shit. Or eating her ass. Yes, yes, people, grown people over here. We eat ass, okay? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. spread this guy there. That's another one. Slutting mm-hmm. out, man. Women, women need ass now. Yes. They're asking for it. Oh, and on <laughs> the other side, yes, on the other side of that, go the spectrum too. You know what I'm saying? They want to do it too. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit. I mean, I guess. I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let them know, man. So I was uh, slutting this chick out before you. Uh-huh. And um, she asked me a few things, and then I just took it into my own, you know, my own <laughs> ability. So you know what I mean. She she was pulling a number where you know you lay them off the end of the bed, head head off the end of the bed. Yep, so, yep. Inver- While she's inverted, upside down, right in front. Oh, yeah. So oh, she yeah. come mouth open. Uh, mm-hmm. So you know that's the who the, the throat angle is amazing from that oh, angle. Yeah. So yeah. you know what I mean. You get a throat angle. So that's the making her gag. You uh-huh. know what I mean. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. teabagging angle. Oh, yeah. All oh, yeah. that. All that. And I said, and I set my ass on her face. <laughs> Let it <laughs> She didn't say shit. I was <laughs> She I was down with it. Because when you teabagging, it's like, they're going to balls, they're going to gooch. 
Yep. Right next to the Gucci hey, man, you look. Me, oh, I got a story too. I remember the first time <laughs> a chick really licked my Gucci, yo. I remember the first time. Ah. I was I was in college, dog. Chick was sucking me up. Started licking on the balls and she licked right yo, there. Hold on. It took the college before you got your Gucci? It took Gucci the college. Man? It took the college, yeah. It, uh, yeah. I was late in the game. I was late in the game. Chick turned me out early. I think I talked about her before. But yeah, yeah, it, go ahead. It, it, I was late in the game, man. Yeah, yeah. So when she did it, I was like, oh. I should, I, I should like this. I, should I like? I should like this, right? <laughs> oh, I swear to God! Oh man, that shit is fire. So if it does happen, you just like, oh shit! Wow, yeah. fuck. So I'm also. I mean, it might be a little bit of ten, not really, not, but I'm also a, a person, an advocate of being slutted out. As yeah. well as slutting out the woman, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think we need to talk about that. What it means to slut out a man, because it ain't the same things that we were just discussing. No, 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 two totally different things. So, uh, but also, I, 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 I meant to, you know, this is part of what I was about to say is anything, just about 98, 99 percent of anything that you do with, uh, uh with the woman as a man with uh -huh. the woman should be free game. You know what I'm saying? It's a Dang. few things that are off limits. You know, right, right, just right, a right. couple. Right. Uh, in my in my opinion, that not, not favorite. But I know I know straight men that will say they're straight men, but I I believe they're straight men. You know, they do the butt plugs and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I I, I know, I've that. heard of it. Yeah. I know. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. You just can't put nothing in my ass. Just about yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and just about everything. Right. Right. Else, right, right. I'm with. I'm mean, gonna damn near with. You know what I mean? Right. So like, uh, just about. You know what I'm saying? So like, I just want to make that clear. Like. Everybody, oh, you gave you do this. You get, I don't really be worried about what nobody think, uh, because I know what I am comfortable as hell with my sexuality. So, exactly. you know what I mean? So, I just have to make sure I think, about, and it, it's Pride Month, you know what I'm talking about? Shout out to everybody that's a part of that community. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. I'm not, but you know, shout out to everybody that is a part of that community, nothing right, against right, that right. community at all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure you trying to get Absolutely not. We, absolutely we, not. We 60, so, we, we 60 episodes, it's old sin, man. We absolutely. ain't trying to get captured. Uh -huh. I'm all about it. Well, so I'm an advocate because I like women who like women. That's, they are fully aware, you know what I mean? Fully a part of her. So I am an advocate in that regard, especially. And yeah. then everybody else, do your thing. Do you? Be, they are some of the free, You know what? Free, let me, most let me free pay attention on what you just said, right? Ahead, Have you ahead. ever, you had to, um, been with a chick and y'all both plot on another chick together? Yeah. Ain't that amazing? Bro, so like, it's a... Right. So like it's amazing. So there you go. All right, people that never been in a threesome. Let me go ahead and put it on there. Most of the, from my experience, <laughs> it, let me say that from my experience, in order to have a threesome, you need the chick to pick the chick. You can't pick the chick. I think we discussed this before. My yeah, name. but but I, you I'm, can. I'm, start, but... I'm starting to disagree with that because of, okay, yeah, because of uh, yeah, updated information. Okay, but yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> But it, it, okay, it's more likely to go down if she picks. It just needs to be mutual. Put it that way. Okay, it yeah, it'd be, be mutual and because stuff like that. Do, and but if I you plot it, on them together, right? I say if she more. mentioned it and be like, "Yo, I think I want a threesome." You'd be like, "Well, shit, what about so and so?" You know what I'm saying? You think she might be down? <laughs> I'm like, "But you gotta like do it, and, and you know they get to talking and getting their thing together and shit like that." You're like, ah. Shit, that's mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Type shit. So yeah, I agree. So I think I think it, it needs to be mutual, right? Uh -huh. So um I think with the threesome, it needs to be very, very, very transparent communication. But the plotting on one chick is definitely a, a, a avenue that can be, you know, exploited uh as well as enjoyed, especially by the man, because there's nothing being able to talk to your woman about another woman and still Love, oh, care, and whatever you know, which you like with the but woman. Damn, that you baby, with. she so, fine, ain't it? Yeah, exactly, you, bro. And, you want to fuck her, don't you? Yeah. You feel me? Oh, or, you should fuck her. <laughs> you feel me? Like, or if it ain't, <laughs> even, if, even if you ain't pursuing to be able right. to just, you know, appreciate beauty. Yeah, together. Like, yeah, she got a fat ass, and she come right. back like, yeah, she do. Or she exactly. he might hit you. Like, you see that, see that ass? Exactly, hey, bro. So, but uh, as far as just like plotting, I think the plotting is, man, I think I think it's more beneficial to the man. But then you have some women who are really like, like out here now. Like they, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they introducing these three subsidies men. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like, facts. Like, facts. yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm my girl, I'm wondering. Yeah. <laughs> and like, so 
I've only had one threesome in my life. So, man, amazing time. Uh, it's crazy. We were sober. Like, it's, it's a great story, actually. Uh, but they plotted on me. Well, give us the details. So what you know? Goddamn. All right. Story Classic time. Classic Fargo right here. <laughs> what you saying? So I've only had one threesome bro. in my lifetime. I've been close to several others, but I've only had one. Um, but, like, so, and they... They essentially found it on me. We were talking about it. So the person that I was dealing with um, had a friend, uh, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, you know what I'm saying? If I did it, it would be with her type shit. But I know she had already, like, not had a threesome, but had ate some pussy and messed with some girls, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On some uh, um, vicarious type shit, you know what I'm uh, saying? These, uh, uh, these uh, women, we, that's a whole nother tension subject to these vicarious women. They ain't even bisexual for real. They vicarious. They out here having parties and shit like that. Right. And they're like, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's eat some pussy, y'all. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Let's see what that pussy, what's that shit with that pussy taste like? And then, don't do that, don't do shit ever again in life. Like, it's weird. But uh, all right, back to the story. So she, <laughs> This, I heard this story from an actual woman, brother. She was crazy. But oh, all right, back wow. to the story. So um, they plotted on me. So she's like, we talking shit about it, right? Yeah. Like, we trying to have a three. I was like, yeah, I'm with it. She was, so it was also long distance. So she was out of town. Um, and uh, she, so she was, have, she would have to pull up. So mm -hmm. she, you know what I'm saying? I knew they was coming down. So I didn't hook my nigga up with the friend. You know what I'm talking about? So like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put my homeboy on the friend or whatever the case may be. When they get to come down though, they should stay at my place. So she came down and uh, they were together. I'm talking about they pushed it, like coming all the way down. They they sending me videos. This was uh Marge Mandel's turn, bro. This yeah. is back in the Marge Mandel's. Huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Put time on it. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> so bang, 2015. Yes, that's what it was, though. That was the time. What a year. Boy, what a year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they coming down for AT Homecoming, North Carolina AT. Greatest so they come down for the home. Uh, what is it called? Greatest home Gio, homecoming great, ever. Greatest homecoming on earth. I think on earth. I think okay, on cool. earth. Yeah, Gio. Yeah. So they coming down for the joint, right? So they, I don't know, they plotting on me at this point. I'm thinking, she's like, yeah, have a, have somebody for my homegirl. Uh, we gonna go. She got somebody though. She got a dude at the uh, homecoming or whatever. Somebody, somebody down there she talked to or whatever. But she, if we pull up, are you just have somebody for if we kick it and shit like that? That's how we used to do it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you got a homeboy, I got a homegirl, da, 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 da. So I'm not knowing, though, the first night. We had been talking about it, kind of playing around with it, acting like we was going to do the shit. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We had, we had like, like it had kind of, like, we had talked back and forth about it. Mm -hmm. We was in a group chat together and shit. So, like, so we was talking about the shit, and I'm just like, it didn't seem real. Like, it didn't seem like the shit was going to happen. It seemed like it was more jokingly. Right here, now, I mean, this shit ain't never happened, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. So they get here, bro. The first night, she my joint is fucked up, bro. I have a video and all this shit, bro. It's so fucking funny. She come to me, bro. She busts her ass in my kitchen floor. Like, you know what I'm talking about, bro? And the whole girl is in this joint just laughing. Like, just like she holding her liquor better. But it might like, just fucked up, bro. So I'm, I'm getting my joint back sober. So it's like two, three in the morning. We up. We just up. Kick it. Talking, we, we talk a whole bunch because she out time we get we get in person. So we go to the bedroom, we start doing our thing. Right. It catch up with our homegirl, the liquor. So the plot was, so I'm gonna fast forward. The plot was they was finna get me that night. Like she was gonna come in there, come in there. You know what I'm saying? Like while we was doing our thing. And I and and, and of course I was gonna <laughs> go ahead. Go crazy. But she got Go crazy. she got fucked up. So one of like while she getting sobered up, I'm getting her helping her sober. I'm thinking she's straight the friend. She fucked up now because we right. we kept drinking. So she fucked up now. She's her, she facing my toilet, bro. Facing right. my toilet. So I don't even know she goes to sleep with her. Keep face going. I gotta toilet. take this call. Keep going. Keep going. Go I'm ahead. Sleep. I don't even know she had to take take face of the toilet. She didn't know she fall asleep on the toilet. Face of the toilet. I'm in the back. Uh, going ham. I'm doing my thing. We done got to the sticks and then everything. We baked our fucking and everything. So the very next morning, um, the friend, she comes to the back uh, after a shower and her being fucked up. She back sober up a little bit and shit like that. But then she fucking, uh, she comes to the back of the towel. Nothing but a towel. So she comes to the back. And we in the bed, so she just kind of like laying in the bed in the towel. So I'm honestly like, it ain't even really registered to me all the way, like what was happening at the time. So like, 
she back the other time. We in the bed already. She back the other time. We just chopped it up. Like, damn, bro, we so fucked up. Yada, yada, yada. This, this happened, this, 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 and the third. It, but my joint just, like, the mood is not the same as if it would have happened the night before. I think that she, they intended on being drunk and being sober enough to actually go through with the three, sit the plot. Didn't happen. Yeah. So she's in the bed, in a towel. We in the bed. I'm dinner half naked. And this shit like that, but like the mood, my joint is really not like on it at that point. And mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I I, I damn near fucked it up because I didn't even pre- I didn't pre- I didn't even apply no pressure, bro. She's back there, butt ass thinking in a in a in a, in a trial towel, no clothes you on. Wilding. What was up? What's, what was up? I bro, it what bro? I didn't want to overstep, bro, because she was fucked up the night before. And she, so you don't never want to like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah, shit, yeah. Me Too movement wasn't even like it was now, but I, at that point I was on the Me Too movement. She like, nah, just because she right here in front of me with a towel on, it's Man. a friend. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Like, but fast forward, uh-huh. they told me the plot that night. So we go to homecoming and everything. They come back on the way back. They finna leave, bro. They sober because they got to get on the road that night. They was like, nigga, you know, we was supposed to be fucking you. Like, we was supposed to have this threesome, nigga. What's up? Let's up. Let's go. Bro, exactly. we're, we're like, well, shit. we're like talking. We're like openly talking about it at this point. <laughs> Look, and, I would be like, <laughs> bro, like we're like openly talking about it at this point. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, we had nigga, we didn't went to the hotel room. We just smacked in the same room and everything, bro. Like, uh-huh. like two separate, two separate uh instances. They back at my house on their way back to uh where they was going, uh back to where they was staying, bro. And like, boom, sober, went down. Like it was kind of like giggly, bro. We laughed, like, yeah. man, bro, are we really finna do this? Ha ha ha! Type, bro. I'm talking about it immediately. Like, I'm like, yeah, we finna pop this shit off. So I instantly pull out titties. I'm sucking. Let me eat this pussy. You can eat her pussy. Like, I'm director. I'm in director mode. Ooh, here. Like, let's Yo, do it. isn't so that I, amazing I, to be the crazy. director of the threesome? Yo, you do Bruh. this. Like, you get and here. So I, yeah. <laughs> That's a dynamic that you got to learn, okay? Like, in I, the heat of the moment, be the director. You got to, it's like a movie. I need you to do this. You do this. All right, Bruh. now y'all come here. <laughs> yes, bro. So lit, bro, because I wanted to, I had never seen a chick in person eat another chick pussy, because remember, this is my first threesome. So I'm like, I want you to eat up pussy. So the friend, I want the friend to eat, eat, eat my up joint pussy. I said, I want you to eat up pussy. I started mm-hmm. spinning up from the back. Like, bro, it was, bro, lit, turn, start. We do, it's merry go around. I'm fucking both, you know what I'm saying? Fucking both of them eating pussy. Like, it was amazing. It was, it was everything. But it was so nasty, lit right. that, like, oh, it was it was a bit. It was so crazy enough, bro. We had to fuck, do the whole threesome, laugh, chill, we sober. And then they had to get on the road like an hour later. <laughs> right. It is great when, like, both of them, like, cool like that. And everything, bro. Else. Oh, oh man, it's great. So like, bro. like that's how like kind of, kind of almost like how my experience was. I think I talked about it before, but I, just for this particular episode, um, it was the chick I was dealing with or whatever for years or whatever. And she hit me up one night like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna come to the crib, but my friend with me." And like she said, she just want to watch. I don't have Ooh. a problem performing. I like, all right, cool. I don't did that. <laughs> I, I don't fuck in the club before. It's cool with me. So, <laughs> so I, right, cool. I never forget my homeboy fucking up club in the shell. In I tell you about that. Oh, that's wild. That's wild. That's wild. Anyway, high school. Yeah, I'm about to say that's high school. The shell was high school, so that's wild. Anyway, so uh, one of my homeboys was staying with me at that time, staying at the crib, but he was sleep on the couch. So, I was, so me being the fuck nigga I was doing that time, like I'm not waking that nigga up like that. If he hear it, then I right, cool. I think you told the story before. Yeah. But uh, go ahead, yeah. Hear it, then cool. Have. Then you know, whatever. <laughs> so they pull up and stuff, and, and, and you know, a friend come in. I had I had like a little chair in my bedroom. So the friend comes, get you know, on the chair, sit on the chair. Me, oh, and this saw was some cuckold type shit. The oh. friend was the, in the cuckold spot, mm-hmm, but like mm-hmm, this was, mm-hmm. oh, this was. Like, she said she wanted to watch. That was she said. That's lit, bro. So she That's came lit. and sat down on the couch, and I proceed to believe I was like uh, Wesley Pipes. I'm going crazy. I'm talking some of the, the shit I don't even say. Like I'm, I'm wilding in that well, bitch. Example, I example, 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 example. Nigga, what I'm in say? that bitch like. That dick is in your motherfucking stomach, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that bit wild. So while I'm doing it, I look over. I see old girl start playing with herself. So I'm like, oh, oh shit. shit. So, I, so I'm in there struggle. I'm like, you like this shit, don't it? She was like, I wanna, I wanna join, but uh, uh, she might get mad. Blah blah. She was like, no, nah, come on over here and get you some dick too, girl. I was like, okay. So then it popped off. Come on, pause. 
the friendships like those is what we need more of. We need more of because them. the one that like my three, like bro, same exact type of friendship. One no, bro. There, I've never talked to that girl outside of her friend being the mediator I, ever. Oh, like, bro, that's <laughs> oh, you even more lit, but. <laughs> That was my first time. Stick, bro, so, no, no, like, I never seen her. Didn't know nothing uh, about that, this chick. Then she popped in. So, uh, that's so I started stroking on the other shorty. Man, the chick I've been fucking with, she was like, nah, fuck this. You go eat my pussy. So she jumps in front of old girl while I'm in behind hitting them from the back. I'm going like, so now I'm, I'm having like an outer body experience. It's like I'm watching myself do some shit and I'm going crazy. Oh, you next to a mirror? Uh, no. I'm having an out of body experience, nigga. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching this shit. From I got you, bro. Third I got person you, bro. angle. <laughs> I don't even think I was in my body anymore. I'm watching from like, damn, this shit lit. It's really different, bro. You you so, be on some real king shit when you're in the first <laughs> especially when they're active participants. Like it ain't no. Like, no, and that, no and that's, uh, and hesitation. And, and that's what was no. crazy about it, right? So then, you know, everything go down and stuff. And, you know, next day and shit. So well, the chick I've been fucking with, she hit me the next day. Like, yo, last night was crazy, blah, blah, blah. Oh, girl, I want to do it again. I'm like, the next day, I said, ah, my well, boy ain't going to let me to get that shit off two days. Because <laughs> he woke up the next day. Because he, like, he woke up the next day. Right? So he woke up the next day. Like, y'all woke up in the middle of the night. You were going crazy, bro. A lot of the blah. <laughs> I was like, I had two of them in there. <laughs> he was mad as a motherfucker at me. He was so mad. He was like, what? hey, but it, but <laughs> honestly though, but I ain't even gonna lie though. It wasn't his play. It wasn't his play at first. I, don't get me wrong. I I'm not saying because you could have honestly, it could have honestly fucked up the dynamic. Right. It could have. It could have. They had a, a mission of. It seemed like they know, had them all their own plan. Right, right, right. 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 She, it right. sounded like you got plotted on, too. Of course I'm I got saying. plotted on. Hey, man, yeah, it's I, great I, being plotted on by women. It's great. Women, y'all should plot on niggas more. It's amazing. <laughs> all right. Plot on us. All right. It's we, cool. It's inter, interjection, interruption. We, we we come to tell you in this podcast. Yeah, we, <laughs> man, it's women. cool if y'all do plot on us and shoot your shot. All right. Like it's it's all right, but don't Bruh. shoot your shot as in story, like story. I'm gonna let exactly. you get to it. Don't it's shoot your one. shot as in like I looked at you, I gave you an eye, and kept it moving. No, come all the way out, catch a nigga off guard because you never know what we might react to. Like I was not expecting you to say that, but <laughs> I'm intrigued now. So let's Man. see. It's great like that. Plot on us, nigga. Sometimes facts because you know? niggas definitely be plotting on you. Reverse the roles. <laughs> You see a nigga you like, plot on him. Plot you gotta get him by himself so you can do some shit. <laughs> we cool with it. Slut, so. slut, name of this episode, slut me out. Slut me out, most definitely, bro. We gotta go back to this, though. What do you mean to slut a man out? But uh, what I'm gonna say here, bro, my, this, is, this is a short tangent, real quick. Sasha gonna hate us when she come back. She gonna really <laughs> shit. like, y'all niggas go crazy when I'm not there. Thanks, though. She, she, you know, she's the mediator. She's the good. You know what I'm saying? She's mama bear. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, bro, so just the other day, no cap. This is so crazy, bro. So I, my whole girl, strictly paternity now. We used to mess off or whatever. But strictly paternity, she in a relationship stuff, but still super cool. She pulled up. We chopped it up for a minute. So I met one of her homegirls through her. Mm. Never, never flirted, never nothing. We just, mm. I actually helped her, helped her with some business before, uh, but never no flirt, no nothing. Like, and then, like, no, I, like, where I'm about to go with the story is like why I'm saying all this. Like, never mm. nothing. I ain't never like side eyed. I ain't never done right, that. Right, just right, strictly right. business. But, but she had hit me up a couple times in, in the recent um, couple weeks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Could you help me with some business like we did before? Yeah, yeah of course. No problem. You, I met you through my hunger and solid. I would never, you know what I'm saying? Ain't never been no problems, you know what I'm saying? None of that. But how about the, the, the night my homegirl came and we was chopping it up. She, you know what I'm saying? She was going through some stuff. She, she wanted to chop it up. So she's leaving. She probably stays like 40 minutes from me. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you let me know when you get to the crib. So before she even could make it home, the homegirl that we were just talking about, because I had told her, I was like, oh, girl, hit me up a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? They help with some yeah, business yeah, again. Yeah. You remember like last time? Bro, how about it? 2 a.m., bro. This is a true story, but this just happened like this week, this past weekend. It bro. may be true, may not be true. <laughs> bro, she hit me up. 
I, I, bro, I ain't even. I would, I would show the receipts on them. I wouldn't put a name, of course, but I would show the receipts on them. But she hit me up, bro, <laughs> and was like, uh, "Where you at? You at the crib? I'm trying to come spit on it." Out of How nowhere, ne hold on, hold on. never talked How about this type of shit ever. And she just came out with it. Ever, my boy. And, hold on. The last part said, "How you gonna act?" You know how niggas be. <laughs> So I was about to go to sleep. Why, but, uh, the reason yeah. why I thought about this was because she plotted on a nigga, bro. Because, bro, I first and foremost, a few weeks before when she was hitting me up on the business, I hadn't heard from her in, in maybe a year, bro. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe a little bit shorter, but probably like that long. So, and once again, it was always strictly paternity, strictly business, nothing mm -hmm. out of nowhere. So, me <laughs> didn't know how to respond. So, don't know if it's set up. So, me, I'm like, Hold up. I thought about it for a second. So I hit my homegirl up. You know, we were just talking about your homegirl because, hold on, she's also, like, wouldn't care. Like, she would like she would be like, she blast her ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She that type of homegirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, because she didn't put me on plenty. Like I said, we used to mess out, but she didn't put me on. Like, she didn't put me in the door with plenty. Mm. But, like, she, she, like, she blast her ass. She was like, she, she used to be attracted to She always been attracted to you. This and this and that. So my response is, I don't even know if this was meant for me. I don't, we ain't never been on this type of demon time. But uh, eyes. <laughs> Girl with the eyes. <laughs> like, but, so she never hit back. And I'm like, yeah, this had to be a mistake. But why would you be like, damn, my fault? Like, I haven't heard from yeah, her since. Right. But I told, my, I told her, my, my homegirl that was there that night, like, I don't know, it had to be like a mistake or something, though. Because I didn't want nothing to be kind of, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, she hit you with the... Pump face. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, yes, yeah, so I don't know if she just tried to figure out how I would respond or if it was for the wrong, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just the text went to the wrong person. But I'm talking about, bro, where you at? I'm trying to spit on you. How you going to act? <laughs> Bitch, don't play with me like this. <laughs> Nigga, why you pick up the phone on the call? Hey, hey, um, uh, where, where you at right now? Um, like, how far? Like, I would be I up. Okay, bro. So, like, how I operate, bro, I wouldn't feel like they would have been doing my homegirl at this deck. So, I, like, you know oh, me. I told okay, you about yeah, yeah, yeah. Through your home. Okay, I had to, I I had to tell you. her, bro. I literally I get snitched. it. I get it. No, no, I, I get that. Lie. I get that. I, I get snitched, that. bro. I ain't... No, I get that because you I cool with like, the homegirl. Okay, I'm with you on that. You just wanna... left my house. We were just talking about the girl. Like, yeah, like yeah. On, some, on the business level, though. Like, I told her she had just hit me up and stuff. Like it was like I said, never been on that type of time, yeah, bro. Yeah. No, I'm with you now. I'm with so, you now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna think about that. I can't so. just can't just pick up the phone. But also, hey. I know my homegirl. My homegirl wasn't gonna block it. She was gonna right, be like, right. But it's still the oh, courtesy. Shit. She oh, damn it! He actually yeah. laughed about it. Was yeah, like, it's the oh, courtesy shit. though. Like we tight. You I, know, I, I, I don't you, even bro. know it's old girl like that. So, exactly, you know, bro. Yeah, I get that. I've never no, no. like I done put up to a career before, but it's been on business. You know what I'm saying? Without my homegirl. But I'd have definitely been, you know, around them together and shit. But I ain't never, no, I never that type of time, bro. It fucked me up. When I saw the text, bro, I dropped, my, I put my phone down. Like, <laughs> nigga, you did one of these? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I put my phone down, no cap, bro. Like, what the fuck should I? Because I ain't going to lie. It's probably blast blood. But I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, nope. Mm-mm. I don't, you know. Oh, uh, just went on. I went on that type of time, so I hit my home girl up. I get yep. it. I get it, man. So, yeah, bro. Oh, and, and I did the right thing. I think you did. I did the right you did. Thing. You did the right thing right there. So let's go back to our original uh, uh, topic. We because we went tangent, 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 tangent. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. You know that's yeah. how it goes. It's always amazing. Slend, slend somebody out, or as opposed to men and women and shit like this. It's like kind of like two different things and stuff like that. Of course, men we love to be slutted out by women. Of course, slut me out. NLE shout out to NLE Chopper. Shout out to NLE Chopper. Memphis stand, Memphis stand up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga, turn, man. But uh, yeah, yeah you was about to give examples of like far as with the differences before we got on our tangents. Oh yeah, man. So I, 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 so you know, what I'm saying NLE has a song. So this is good free promo for my boy because NLE, I fuck with him. Yeah, nigga, yeah. turn. NLE He's chopper had slut. Yep, Kaiwood. Mm -hmm. Uh, slip me out. He uh streaming on our platform, so she, you know, what I'm talking about. I go check him out, but he has a song called "Slip Me Out," and he has "Slip Me Out" remix with Six Red, and he has another one with uh Suki. I think that's on that Suki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Suki. Yeah. yeah. So he has two separate ones. It's so crazy how he did it. Marketing genius, by the way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So, lick on my goose while you suck me. 
Mm-hmm. First mm-hmm. thing you can do, mm-hmm. and you just talked about it, because you talked about the first time you got your Gucci. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and uh, Inez is one of those yeah. things you can slow the man out. Yeah. Men might act like they don't like it, don't want it, because like I said, I always talk about it on the show. I've never asked for my ass to be asked. There you go. That's that's what so, it is. So I never saying, asked, never asked for it. It just I'm, so well, also also I'm grown as a motherfucker. I don't even mind right. asking no more. Now, I haven't, I still haven't, but I'm I'm to the point where soups matter of fact, the name that I just brought up, soup e yeah. niggas ass. This bitch got a song. I don't know what the name of the song is, but the song, <laughs> the the biggest highlight of the song is we be eating niggas ass. And like she's like representing, and it's a bunch of women who feel that way. Who have gone that route? Who who embrace it? And I just say, ladies, thank you. Like, <laughs> round of that's, applause. That's like one of the round number of applause, one ways to slut a nigga out. Like, right. So, also, we talked about it before. Remember, first time I talked talk about it on the show. First time I ever got choked back. Oh, remember I talked about that yeah, shit? Yeah, I remember when I so did. So that's too. a mm-hmm. man. That's another way to slut a man out because I got, I got choked back. most niggas. Most men are gonna do the choke because most women yeah, like it. Right. Most men yeah. don't even know they how they will respond, react, and some gonna be defensive, like, oh, what you doing? And some gonna be like in the moment to let it up and allow it to happen and see the response and my body response mm-hmm. was positive. Mm-hmm. I was shit, I rocked up. I'm like, whoa, what the because mm-hmm. she did it for me, her being on top and me being yep, on that's top. How, like, that's how it happened to me. Nigga. That's how it happened to me. So ladies, so another crazy. way to slut them out. Also. <laughs> this is the war. This is going. No, this sounds. Like, this about to be wild. I might not agree with this one. I can tell that. I'll be like, nope. That's London on his own. Let's see. <laughs> I'm with it, nigga. <laughs> Suck it, dick from the back. But since oh, okay. about, all right. But, so but, I want you... that ever since the Mike Epps thing. Well, I don't remember what movie that was. He was like, yeah. it's, 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 it's I think that was Friday. It's next Friday, wasn't it? That's oh, what it's Friday. I, I okay. think it was next Friday, if I ain't mistaken. No, no, yeah, I, I, think, I think it was next Friday, I if I ain't mistaken. It. But I ain't no, I'm trying to see what that was. Yeah, I think it was next Friday, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't sure. <laughs> but that's letting the man out because if you're sucking his dick from the back, you're right by the ball, by the goose, by the ass. You see what I'm saying? So the position of that is why it's like, oh, most men, you typically got to be down with dog. He got me, gotta he be, got me beating that one. Right. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying, this is just a way to way to slur. Like I said, bro, that's why I preface all this shit about things you do with a woman. You know what I'm talking about? First and foremost, I don't give a fuck about what nobody think about me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm with the shit. I'm kinky. I'm free. I like nasty shit. And I'm still, I still got some more shit I got to be able to do. But like, you know what I'm talking about? I, I'm interested in 98% per- percent of most of this shit. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. yeah, but so typically to, for her to suck your dick from the back, you got to be in a position for her to be able to do that, right? Even if she you're standing up and she's under you, or, you know what I'm saying? So it's just the positioning is where it can get kind of tricky. Uh, like if you're on camera, you might not want to be on camera doing it. But if you're not, who the fuck don't know? I don't give a fuck what she said. Bitch, you suck my dick and eat my ass. I don't give a fuck if you go tell somebody. I don't give a fuck. What? <laughs> like, what? what? You think that make me look bad? No, baby. And you, come on now. Come on now. Yeah, but, uh, no, no, so no, now no. I think. I'm with I think, you, though. I'm with you. <laughs> so that was the slut is now, of course, like, sloppiness. The more saliva, oh, the more wet oh, and sticky yes. it gets. Yes. Yeah, so like squirt on my chest. Make me a you're pool, a squ- baby. You're Make a squirter. Me, I mean, it's like when you about to nut and squirt, I'm talking about mm-hmm. aim it for it this out. area. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah, me? It aim out, it for. Yeah, While I'm eating the pussy, out. don't hold that shit. Let that like, shit do out. not. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. Drown, drown. Yeah. Like, when we're really talking yeah. about drowning, that's the way you drown it. Drown me, baby. Or, oh, yeah, oh, so, as I said earlier, hey, well, sit on my face. If I die, I die. It's so that was the other one. I was going to say, yes, sit on, ride his face. Like, grind, yes, ride, ride, yes, ride his my face. face. Yes. Palm, oh, palm yes. the head. Slut down. That's a slut down yes. tactic. Love that shit. Palm the head. Love that shit. Then they're giving you foot, man, that nigga uh, giving you head. Yeah. Palm that nigga head. Make yeah. it, like, keep his motherfucker. Like, make it where he got to <laughs> get breath. That's yeah. what you want. If I die, baby, I die. It's all right. Just letting them out. All right. And then I think right. I think the last one is probably um oh, I had it just a second ago. <laughs> when I'm I had it just a second ago. Um, so it's a I, it's hard to explain. So riding is a form of slitting the man out the way you ride. Make sure so listen, so uh listen. yeah, so I mean, 
of course the standard riding you know from the front that that ain't shit it's it's this way I, oh man i have to find it bro way that they can put their legs like reverse cowgirl but they put their legs yeah. under your body like ah, then they're going towards your ass bro yeah. and lock themselves on your dick bro yeah. and then right oh that's, that's one of those get pregnant yeah. positions though <laughs> be careful like bro like when when a one so just full control really like making that man like like there's no a man don't really got much control. Maybe I'll be your slut. Yeah, like he can slut. smack the ass, he can do that shit. But like how you have it, how you have your legs intertwined, like he it's hard. Like you he, you can push him back easily. It's hard for him to kind of come up. Yeah. So like yeah, that's one of them joints. Yeah. And then like let's get back to foreplay, man. Earlobe licking, neck licking, yeah. kissing all over the face, and the, you know what I'm talking about. Like that shit. Y'all been losing some of that, man. Yeah. Like, y'all, don't get me wrong. Y'all going straight for the ass and shit, but like, don't you know, start up there first. <laughs> hey, let me out, baby. Lil Wayne said, I'll be your slut. Be out. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, we got the title of this episode. We already know this. Anyway. Most definitely, bro. Yeah, Sasha, boy, Sasha gonna come back and be like, "What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I leave for what episode? Man, y'all niggas go crazy." <laughs> oh man, what else we got? Um, you had something to add to that. You had something to add to that. Um, nah. Well, I mean, we pretty much went over of it. Uh, as far as with the sledding mm -hmm. out and stuff like I, that. I haven't graduated to toys. I know a lot of people probably would think about what toys you mean. All right, like hold on. Let's, yeah, let's I haven't graduated here. to there toys. You what you mean? Like when she brings the toy, right? Oh okay. no, 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 no. It's it's toys for men, bro. That can be used on me. I haven't graduated to that. I I, I use all of them. I know exactly. nothing about that. There you go. So that was, hey, I go. Hold on. I go to the Adam and Eve stores, my boy. Yeah. So I know like nothing about yeah. that other than the other than the the, the, the cock ring, right? That's something the vibrating cock. That's the only thing. Yeah, I yeah. Nah, it's I don't it's know it's, uh, it's it's anal bees for me, and it's goddamn cock rings. It's fucking um butt plugs and all that other shit. It's it's some other stuff too. I don't know the names of all them shits, but I'm it's a bunch of shit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't graduated today. I'm just, I'm not. It's the, but I, I do like women who are into the the, the toys on them. So you know what I'm saying? That's oh, 100. percent Oh yeah, man, nigga. What? Put it, put it on their clit while you stroking them. Oh, watch it, go crazy. watch it. Go crazy. I, I, I ain't use the rose while fucking it. I might be turned. Watch them, watch them go crazy. Hey, man, stroking with the rose. Out. We give you, we give you all right. We have to out. All right, both sides, men and women. We have to out. Oh, yeah. Yo, so uh, in the group chat uh, between me and you, and uh -huh. it was a really good topic. Hold on, let me get back to it. Not the double okay. standards, because I want to do that with Tasha. But I'm mean, okay. okay. Tasha, Tasha. The one you sent right before we got on. Uh -huh. <laughs> this right on this, this right up that alley today. It's right up that alley. Uh, literally. literally. See, it's attention. just like the club. Some folks get in for free. Some wait in line. Some got to pay VIP to get in. And one nigga shoot it up and fuck up the fun for everybody. Good. If that shit ain't on the money, bro. That is that great, shit man. That is on you, the money. Let's talk about a time. We'll this be our last topic that we've been, we're grown, all right? We in our thirties. Look, that we've been a participant of each um, scenario. Like, all right, sometimes we got in for free with it. You know what I'm saying? We just walk right in the club. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got to wait in line. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes you just like, fuck it. Pay, not like really pay like prostitute, but like you spend some cheese in order to get it, get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Which is, that's like, that's going to be the overwhelming majority of most men. Of course. Right? Go to, like a date. A date counts for that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I think the date would be more like you wait in line type stuff. You ain't doing nothing crazy, right? I think when it's I think the wait in line referring to like you know niggas that didn't hit, or you know niggas okay. that was in front of you, like okay. or like you know what I'm saying, or she got she got she got a line. She got a she, got she got a roster. She got yeah, a roster. Yeah. She got yeah. a roster. Yeah. And you, you like a, you know you might up, she might be you, straight G with you. It's not your real night, talk, nigga. bro. Story time. All right, let me take. So we just said let's talk about each one. All right, so free. Mm -hmm. I think was college easy. Like, oh, yeah, college, yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> when no, when no money Free before 11. I'm, I don't right. got money anyway. So, shit, I gotta get to the club exactly. at 10. What you talking so about? I think, 
if you if you went to college and you was a dude and you had any type, I'm talking about you don't need no type of play, no type of gift to get for real. If you went to college, especially if you went to a damn HBCU, that probably was. Oh my god, I'm so happy I didn't go there. I'm I would happy probably I, didn't I would I would not be in the same situation. I'm in today. I probably have, I have children. Not children. I have one child. I would have children and all this other shit. But uh, all right, not there. Mm-hmm. But like, yes, yeah, so I think college was the easy or free one, right? Even though I still every now and then come across some of them freeze. But mm-hmm, um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think the the weight of the line one though, and I'm a I'm a I'm gonna talk to the point of which we, we just made. When you when she keeps it one hundred, like, yeah, I got, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, it's plenty of niggas, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to she him. She might be like, you know I got a boyfriend. Him. I got a boyfriend, I'm yeah. dating or whatever the case may be. But it's the I think the most the most genius ones is like I got a little, you know, so I got a little lineup, which story time last week. Uh, last week, I wasn't even trying to. No, no, I wasn't even trying to holler at this shit. It was so funny that she said this like on some G shit. That's why it's so funny to me. It was so. So I'm in this. Uh, I'm at a networking event. So as soon as you start I was on some to, business shit, bro. This is, so that's why it's a good story, bro. Because women think because you compliment them. Remember we was talking about this. Because you compliment them, you're flirting and trying to holler. You know what no, I'm saying? No, no. Exactly. no, it was it wasn't even on that type of time. It was just also, you know, I also you want to see somebody smile. She was attractive, by the way. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm talking to her. She sat down next to me. Uh I'm already seated. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh hey, how you doing? Because I'm talking, I talk to everybody. Hey, right, y'all, you how, how you doing? Also. Yeah. So hey, how you doing? Yada yada yada, blah, 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 my name. Da, 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 da. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like, and I'm like, oh, you got a really nice smile. I just thought you were like that. And then, uh, and then I said something later on in the conversation to the city, you know, like, um, um, uh, let me see your IG follower. Like, just messing with her. I didn't want to see her phone for real or none of that. I was just mm-hmm. like, I bet you got a lot of phones on IG. She was like, oh, well, I'm a blogger. and I, So she was like plugging herself. Mm-hmm. Kind of being, mm-hmm. And then she was like, yeah, I got a little line up too because of it. And I was like, oh, oh right, yeah, okay. Was... You know what I'm talking about? I was like, I don't know if she tried to like flex with that or was that a, a warning? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really know what it was. So I'm just kind of like, well, I wasn't even trying to you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I followed her, you know what I'm saying, right there. Course, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. even, I almost unfollowed her right back. Like, <laughs> like man, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even know that type of time. But, you know what I'm saying? But, but she was so, she was so G-witted up, but she was just like, hey, I got a little loud. I'm trying to have fun. I've been divorced. I, you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, oh, okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? But she kept it 100 to G. But like an actual person that I was waiting in line for, you can tell that type of story. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, you got one of those, Oh, it was like you knew, you knew you was waiting in line, like you knew maybe knew somebody they, they knew the person that they were dating type deal. One thousand. And knew you was in. <laughs> Go ahead. This is gonna sound so bad. Sound so, bad. <laughs> so in college, right? Uh, played, it's always back in college, bro. I played basketball always. in college, right? So I played for uh, Mercer or whatever, and uh, it was this chick. I ain't gonna say what what team she was on. <laughs> it was this chick that everybody was smashing right. I wanted her too. She would not fuck with me for a nice little minute. She made you wait in line, my boy. She made me wait in line, dog. But what you real about it? Nah. Like, did she just make you play? You know what I'm saying? Play play more cards than the, than the last time. She made me play a little bit more cards. She wasn't real with it, but like, you know, she made she made me just. She she knew I knew who she was fucking with. There you go on the team, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> but like niggas niggas wasn't wiping. I'm just like, nah, she a good time, nigga. <laughs> like for real, <laughs> so I'm trying to. She like, Mm-mm, nah, you know, I be dealing with, mm, I be dealing with, mm, da 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 da. Oh, uh, did she say that though? At least, well, well, she did say that once. Yeah, yeah, and stuff. So oh, I you like, gotta respect them. I, no, I res- no one hundred percent. Gotta respect, respect the other split, you know. And then, so and then I never forget one night we went out to this little place um, that was in Macon. Uh, it was called the Rookery, and um, she saw me in there. She came up on me, started kissing up all my neck, and I ain't gonna lie. Uh, as a twenty year old person in your head, you like tonight is the one fucking day. Let's get it. Was it the night though? <laughs> it was the night. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, turned she, up. She, Oh uh, yeah, she was on de- she was on demon time. She was on demon time, but I had to wait. When I say wait, she was on I mean time. like the next season wait. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The next year came. Bruh. <laughs> or, I'm gonna say from the time I started to I actually got it. Like, man, that's a long way to line. God damn. 
I'm gonna tell you two, two, two more stories, bro, right quick. All right, so one, college was crazy, bro. College was crazy, bro. So let me tell you what, let me tell you what we used to do so we could skip the line. I think this is a good list. Skip the line, okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, bro. So unless your thing was the line, people were waiting in line, right? Right. It's a real thing, like we're talking about here. This is the way we used to skip the line. So we in college, bro, we want shit, bro. So we would figure out, like, you know what I'm saying? We would, we would smash this joint, right? From college, we would hear some. And then our homeboys would be like, man, yeah, you know, such, 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 such. Yeah, bro, I hear, bro. We would literally share the text thread of what everything that we said yeah. to be able to get the pussy, bro. Oh, yeah, you definitely skipped the line. You had, <laughs> you, had you were doing inside <laughs> trading. You, your ass supposed to do federal prison. <laughs> That's bro, inside trading. When I say, bro, we was bartering <laughs> motherfucking text combos, bro. Like the shit was wild, my boy. Like my nigga with a nigga, niggas was having like group meetings, like nigga. I'm trying to blah, 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 I'm trying to get her, I'm trying to get her. Man, let me think about it, bro. I think somebody, I think oh boy was talking to her. I'm talking about bro, we was straight up like mixing and matching. Niggas was horrible in college. Jesus Christ. Horrible, Thank God bro. social media wasn't horrible, bro. what was it is it as now. Bro? Oh my God, bro. <laughs> because it, bro, a lot of shit would bro. Because you know, Twitter had just got like, you know, I've been like 08, like, 09. Yeah. Yeah, like just got, going. Yeah. You know, it was bro, only Facebook bro. beforehand, so you know, yeah, bro, you flirt with bro. a chick by poking her. <laughs> <laughs> I was the yes, poke king, nigga. The honesty box, the honesty box. <laughs> oh, honesty box. <laughs> look, look, I was so bad. I honesty box and put my initials in there. Bitch, you go need this me. But like, bro, so like that was the one thing, bro. We was literally skip, like we was literally helping niggas skip the line, bro. Like if they had any type of chance, like if we noticed, like, bro, you got to show us the text that she at least interested, bro. Mm -hmm. That's that was like the that was like the way to get in. Ah, oh, she, ah, oh, yeah, bro. This same thing she started with with me. Bet I got you, bro. Go go this route. You gotta yo. be a player, though. You gotta be able to switch it. Okay, yeah, nigga, nigga, yo, I bullshit you not, bro. Yo. I bullshit you not, bro. This is a very very true story, bro. <laughs> One of my niggas, bro, copied the conversation. Bro, my nigga, I'm talking about bro. Show the nigga after the bro. You know what? Word, but fucking word, it's still smack, bro. I said, bro, this is shit. Now I think about it. Now I think about it. He just made me realize something else. I skipped the line, bro. I remember I was getting in college. Niggas was horrible in college, yo. I'm just gonna put it out there. We were bad, college, all right? That means you had a great time in college. I'm just gonna put it out there. We weren't even horrible. calling people toxic yet. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we weren't even calling people, but it was horrible. All right. One time, man, it was this one chick. She was like a weird chick, right? I was like, bro, I don't even know how to talk to this weird chick, but I want this weird chick. And my and one of my LBs, <laughs> one of my LBs, he's into the same shit she was. So what I did, I said, bro, I've been trying to get so and so for the longest, bro. I you had a text for you? Yeah, I got it in the phone. Bro, tell me why, like two days later, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, was horrible, though. It was terrible. We're trash, bro. We're fucking trash. This is why the podcast is called Toxic and Fertile, people. All right? We some toxic motherfuckers over here. Our fertile oh, member is episodes. not here. You see what the fuck going on. Our fertile <laughs> member is not here to put us on the leash. Chief's not here. This is bro, her fault. So y'all be like, y'all terrible, bro. Y'all need we're to hit Sasha shit. up and be like, don't miss the Don't leave, don't leave these niggas, niggas unsupervised. Go <laughs> unsupervised. <laughs> we're unsupervised. Oh, bro, my God. we were terrible, bro. College. I mean, we can college go, bro. We can. Horrible. We can literally have gone in just college stories, but like a lot of my stories be from college anyway. That time yeah, period, anyway. That time but like, college, yeah. that we were terrible, bro. But all right, to, to wrap the show up, <laughs> get ready to wrap it up, man. You know what? You know what's horrible up. is I get ready to wrap this. Up. You know what's horrible when I was uh, mentoring kids when I first got out of uh, college and shit like that. When I first moved to Atlanta, I used to go with a frat and we would go to like uh, underprivileged communities and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they'll see me because they see all the tattoos and stuff. So they be like, hey, you're different. You ain't like how the other ones. So I tell them straight up, like, you want to go to college, not because of school and all that stuff. It's because you're going to have the best time of your fucking life. Experiences. That's bro. exactly what I tell Man, all the kids. Bro. I'm like, outside of the school, yeah, and the, the, the actual education of it, I get that part. But you want to go because you're never going to have that type of fun ever again in your life. Those four or five, know, six you. years you're there in college, however long it takes, it took me five years or whatever, but however long it takes for you to get through college, it's going to be the best period of your fucking life. 
All right. So kids, you want to go. That's why I used to tell all the kids from that. And then I wouldn't go in detail details, but I definitely just be like, you're going to have the best time of your life. I'm telling you, you want to go fuck all this other shit you want to do. You want to go to college. Thanks, so. <laughs> that's a random but, uh, one of them kids, like maybe like a month or two ago. I was like, damn. That's what's up. Yeah. I think the experiment, even if you don't finish going, if you're able to go, yeah. Like whether you know financially, grades, whatever. If you're able to, you should go. And you should at least get there. For the you should try. Yep, you semester, should try. Though, at least. Yep. Yeah. So the last one on that list of the um the text that you read out the VIP. one that we put in the chat. Yeah. The VIP or the 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 one that shoots the club up. <laughs> oh. Shoot the club I know, up, fuck I, it up, fuck I, it up for I, everybody. I know, I know, I personally know a couple of niggas that did that on purpose. I, I, I know a couple of niggas that did it on purpose. I, I know a couple that did that on purpose. So and you just and, take and, her out the, out the game. And hold on. They were the combined VIP member and the shoot the club upper. <laughs> They're like, I'm taking this Bro, so, so I'm going to explain these things real quick, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And me and my nigga, we laugh about this all the time. I don't steal my niggas to this day. Yeah. <laughs> so, they was the one, the ugly as hell. This nigga ugly as hell. I talk to him all the time. So I ain't even got to, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this shit. Nigga ugly as a motherfucker, but he pay. <laughs> he pay and he tall. And he be swag. So, like we talked about it, no. Oh, Women don't man. really care about looks as much as they claim. You feel me? That's true. So, That's women true. don't care about looks as much as they claim. If you could do some uh, some other shit, you know what I'm talking about? So, he swag. I'm talking, he ain't never been able not to get a bit. But he is a trick, for sure. So, you know what I mean? He know what he needs to do to do what he needs to do. You feel me? Right. So he a trick. You know what I'm saying? He always been got money. You know what I'm talking about? Legally, illegally, whatever which way he get it. Mm-hmm. So, so this one shit, you know what I'm talking about? He was waiting in line. So, like, he knew he didn't stand a chance for real. Like, you know, look why. Like, he couldn't just shoot his shot. And, right, right, like, right, boom. Right. He knew he had to go to the VIP. You feel me? Yeah. It's like literally a story of his life, bro. So he said, shit, I ain't finna wait around that, bro. I know, I know what's going to trade the abuse. So he went and got a whip. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? He leased the junk. Mm-hmm. When he got the whip. He was like, watch, I pull up on this junk this time. I bet I get attention at least. I'm talking about this junk, like, so this was like a chick that was like a, a club goer type of short. Before right, 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 influencing right. was a thing, but she was that type of club influencer then before it became a, a social media thing. Right, right, right. Always out. We're going to see this chick out. Go on this joint. He said, bro, watch it. Watch when I get this whip, though, bro. She's gonna look at me different, bro. She's gonna talk to me different, bro. I know what it is. I want her. I want her. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, bro, but you get her. You can do this. You know what I'm saying? You got shot. I want her, bro. You know how I am. Did that. Got the whip. He said, bro, what about that bitch? Brace you. What, dude? So this is the VIP line. <laughs> Once yep, again. That, that is the VIP line. <laughs> so, man, bro. So he got the joint. So he bought. She was like, I don't know. I think she was part of the promotion team, if I can if I don't recall right. So he, he threw a party at the jump, but he wanted mm-hmm. her to be the contact. Right, right. So she that's the, that's speaking their language. Then you talking about spending money with them, they don't care. They're gonna flirt, they're gonna do whatever they do to secure that bag. Right. So he said that's gonna be my way in, bro. He had the bracelet. He's like, shit, I want to book a party, yada yada yada. The bracelet for you. You know what I'm saying? That's for you. You keep that. She was like, This the feet of nah, that bracelet for you, baby. I've been trying to get you for the He back. I'm talking about bro, VIP line special. I'm telling she, you, man. She switched. So she thinking, she thinking he a trick, which he is. He don't mind. So, right. you know what I'm saying? She thinking like it's just going to be much. But she kind of, you know what I'm talking about? Like I said, my nigga got swag. You know what I'm talking about? So he got to he gotta sweep off her feet a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is the thing, though. Because with women who accept gifts for men, if it ain't no, no sugar baby, sugar daddy type shit, even them still, most mm-hmm. of the time, they're going to probably fuck at some point mm-hmm. if the nigga don't fuck it up. They ain't gonna let the nigga fuck it up if, if for itself if he can. Oh but yeah. If if not, if he keep applying pressure and he's spending money, she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna test the dick at least once. You know what I'm talking about? When I say this nigga trapped this bitch, he trapped up. He trapped up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Have you ever heard the term slip and slide? Yep. Yeah, he, tried to, he, slide, nigga. he said, bruh, he said the first time, bruh, I can't even fail. I couldn't do it. So, uh, same night, though. So, it's tw- twice one night. He said, first time, now I can't even so anxious, bro. You know, I've been wanting to be so long. He said, but I, I ate with, I ate with pussy so long, uh, so long after that. She let me fuck again. He said, I had to put the rug on. Smack, 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 smack. He said, I'm, getting, I'm in it this time. He said, I just, oh, slip and slide. He said, he was not to put the rug on. He came in that motherfucker. He just, 
people, we do Bro, not condone up. this. Okay, this is old days. This is before we know knew what we know now. Okay, we're talking about a past. Time oh, bro, this man an excellent father. They good, like they don't, they're not together no more. They was together. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but we don't condone any of this behavior. We don't, don't condone this but behavior. But at the same Look, time, I gotta put the disclaimer out there. We don't yeah, condone this behavior. I 100 this, this, like, this is some toxic ass shit. And we talking about me and we laugh about this shit to this day. My child is 13, 14 at this point. But you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, bro, bear hug, dog. I'm talking about, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> He said, "Boy, you knew I went. You know I went for gold." He said, "I said." He said, "My soldiers marching in there." <laughs> this is before he was the fish was pregnant. I said, "It's so over with for you." <laughs> hot girl summer over. Over your whole summer. You about to be hot all summer. Hot, sweating, fucked up, blow. But she was big. But, but at the same time, though, she like. It was never no abortion in it. It was never no like, oh my God, you got me pregnant type shit. Like he was, he, he, it's one of those cases of the man liking the woman more. Mm -hmm. Like treating her, like treating her, you know what I'm saying? Treating her great. All that type of shit. But you know what I'm saying? Just uh, in the streets and shit. So when he got locked up and shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh. It kind of threw the, it kind of threw the relationship off. But yeah, like excellent father though. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Great. Man, it's been a great conversation. This is what happened <laughs> when the toxic boys are here, man. When it's just us and just Y'all don't want us talking like this. Y'all need to spam Sasha Boogie and be like, do not miss no more podcasts. Facts. Facts. The toxic boys are here. We bring the toxicity with that motherfucker. Every no, time. And Every nobody time. to filter. At least she filters. But hey, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are wilding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, today's podcast is brought to you by... Um, I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. The Honey Pack. And, and I found out about something new. I found out about something called Pink Pussycat. Found out, I found out about this recently. Uh, I, I've never used none of this shit, so I don't know. Nothing I never about used it, like, it either, but, but, I, I, but, 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 but I heard how great both are. Right, I, I, I heard. I know. I, wanna, I swear about them honey packs. I'm about to say. I, I think I want to try one of them honey swear. packs one day. But to say, I've never heard of the pink pussy cat before. But apparently, it's the same effect for women. It's the same thing, but it's for women and shit like that. Get so, that thing purring, huh? Pur, you know, basically, I guess so. The pink pussy cat. <laughs> new shit I've never heard of. I was so yeah, intrigued about it. I said, really yeah. now. Hmm. So our, today's our sponsor. Name. Not real sponsor. It's not a real sponsor until we, once again we practice it until we really get some sponsors <laughs> out here. It's brought to you by Honey Pack and Pink Pussy Cat. All right. Uh, church announcements, man. Before we get out of here, dog, what you got? Uh, nothing, man. Same thing as usual. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Please reach out to us. We still need us a new guest. Mm -hmm. We ain't had a guest in quite a while now. I don't even remember who our last guest was. So we it's need somebody to come in and stir some shit up. Yes. I'm gonna reach out to some people possibly, man. Me I too. think I'm I think good. I might have some people. But uh, that's the main thing. But keep on supporting the movement. Y'all know it's Toxic Inferno Podcast. Reach yes. out to us. We talk back. Yes. Uh, yeah. So please keep on reaching out, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, let us know if y'all want some shit with, uh, for us to talk about or some shit y'all want us to stop talking about. <laughs> right, right. I appreciate the YouTubes. Uh, the YouTube views been going up. I don't know if you had a chance have to get it. Yeah, man, man, bro, I don't yeah. think I've ever went to the YouTube page. Yeah, bro. the I'm YouTube gonna page, uh, you know, once again, is always the day after the YouTube page go, the, goes up on YouTube. And uh, mm -hmm. everybody love views there. So uh, continue to subscribe to our YouTube page. Once again, Facebook page also. Instagram. Um, yeah, man, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend out here, okay? Beautiful people. Uh, if y'all got topics y'all want us to talk about, like London just said, shoot us shoot us a message. We'll go with it and stuff. Well, it's like different. Um, I don't have no church announcements myself, so we'll just see y'all next Monday, okay, people? Right. Mondays around 7 o'clock, we are here. Yes. Most Some of definitely. the stories you hear may be true. Some of the stories may not be true, but that is for you to decide. We are out of here, people. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good, good one. Peace.